Welcome to the video on troubleshooting your Map ECU3 USB driver install on Windows 7. One of the problems uh, we've seen support calls is that you cannot connect to the uh, Map ECU3 even though you've loaded the drivers or it's in particular loaded the drivers automatically from the internet. First thing to do is go into Device Manager. So Device Manager can be found on the, under Control Panel, Hardware and Software. If you see a device at the bottom something with, that says something like this, USB Serial Converter, double click on that and what's happened here is that the drivers have been installed from the internet rather than our software CD, um, which is a typical thing we see. People don't disconnect from the internet before they plug in the Map ECU3 for the first time and it automatically downloads the FTDI drivers from the internet. So it's all's not lost, you can um, resurrect the problem. So go into the double click on that device, hit the advanced button, and you'll see a, an option there said load VCP. That's the virtual COM port drivers. You select that, and um, that's the first step. So once you've done that, unplug the MAP ECU 3 and plug it back in. Mm -hmm. Notice now we have the USB serial ports appeared under COM ports and you can double click on here and it says the device is working properly. The only thing you need to do when you've loaded the generic drivers um, is go into port settings, go to advanced, change the COM port. We prefer to use the COM port 3 even though it's a new so it'll remap. Change the receive bytes to 1024. Um, transmit bytes to 1024 and the main one to change is the latency timer to 2 milliseconds. Click OK. It, uh, it's complaining about the COM port, but that's fine. Just click OK and then OK again and you've got it remapped to COM port 3. Now MapCal should operate properly. Thank you.